space travel anybody? Have you seen Michael Jackson do the moonwalk? Now there's a good chance you can do it in your lifetime. With reusable rockets, we can soon start private trips to the moon. The moon has always fascinated humans. In the days of cavemen, that must be a god looking over us. The moon probably broke away from the earth millions of years ago after an asteroid strike. Or it could be that it was a passing star captured by earth's gravitational pull. Russian Yuri Gagarin was the first man to journey into space for 1 hour 48 minutes. Apollo 11's moon landing in 1969 was a big milestone event for space travel. One step for man, one giant step for mankind. Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin, the first men on moon. To test how living things would react to zero gravity, in 1957, Russian scientists first sent to space a stray dog from the streets of Moscow named Laika. Others sent monkeys and mice to space. But more important were the tests with fruit flies. Fruit flies have 75% of the genes that cause disease in humans and have a lifespan of 8 to 14 days. So researchers can test several generations for mutations. It was found that muscles lose their elasticity in zero gravity as there is no resistance to movement. At first, the Russians designed a special space suit to wear which mimicked the effects of Earth's gravity. It was made of elastic, so every time you moved, it gave resistance, making your muscles work, just like resistance bands in the gym. But why is space travel even necessary? Isn't our planet enough? Scientists want to mine rare minerals like helium-3 and titanium from the moon, which can be useful on Earth. Mars has large quantities of iron, aluminium, potassium, which can be used to build factories on Mars. From September 1991 to 93, the Biosphere Experiment in Arizona, USA enclosed eight people in a large bubble with the aim for them to survive two years, where they would not only produce their own food, but also their own oxygen. Inspired by the movie The Martian, where Matt Damon grew potatoes that helped him survive, scientists successfully grew potatoes in a Mars-like environment in an experiment conducted in March 2017 in Lima, Peru. Three, Earlier, two, one, when a rocket fire. was sent into space, it could not be used again. But companies like SpaceX, Blue Origin and Virgin are perfecting the art of reusing rockets thereby saving costs. Soon it will be like a plane. Land, refuel and lift off. SpaceX will be sending NASA astronauts along with two paying customers to the moon next year. But spacecrafts need to be careful of the high amount of cosmic junk floating around in what is known as the low orbit that is about 100 to 1200 miles above the Earth. In 2007, China destroyed an old weather satellite creating more than 2,500 pieces of debris. And in 2009, an abandoned Russian satellite collided with another 490 miles above Siberia, generating even more waste. More than 20,000 such pieces of debris are now tracked by the US military, some of which are traveling at speeds of 18,000 miles per hour. Another threat to space travel is the presence of millions of radiation-charged particles floating around in space. The Earth's magnetic field protects us by trapping these radiation particles in orbits that surround Earth, in what is known as the Van Allen Belt. To get to the Moon or Mars, one has to cross these belts and also deal with high-energy intergalactic cosmic rays loaded with heavy elements like what we have in X-rays that can cause cancer with longer term exposure. But new technologies are being invented to overcome them, so much so that some people are already selling land on the moon and some stupid people are buying. So I guess we will soon know what Frank Sinatra meant when he sang, Fly me to the moon and let me play among the stars. Let me see what spring is like on Jupiter and Mars. If you like this video, share it with your friends and become BizBo's friend by subscribing for free to BizBo's YouTube channel. Come, 
Let's discover the world together.